Welcome to the Better Life Podcast. I'm April. If it's your first time watching or listening today, welcome. This podcast is all about being better. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do that today. Hit that notification bell and every single week you'll get a brand new episode. Today's episode, we're going to talk about what we need to walk away from. You know, if we're going to be better every single day, if we're going to have a better attitude, a better mindset, we've got to tweak our lives. We've got to do a spiritual, mental, and physical check to make sure we're not allowing things in our lives that shouldn't be. So today, I want to give you several things to just be aware of. The first is this, walk away from arguing and strife and anger. Man, this is so important. Do you know that every day we have to choose peace? Some of you mamas out there are saying, every hour I have to choose peace. I mean, I know what you're talking about. I had five kids. We have to choose to to rise above the anger to give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, just to say, I'm not going to I'm not going to walk in this anger. I'm not going to live in this anger. I'm not going to live an angry person. Do you know that every minute you spend angry is a moment of happiness that you'll never get back? Y'all life is too short to spend it angry and upset and and having strife and arguing in our homes. The scripture says in Luke, any kingdom filled with civil war is doomed. So is a home filled with arguing and strife. Man, if that's not a wake-up call to all of us parents, we've got to choose peace, choose to love, love, love. Love is way more important than arguing. Love is way more important than getting our, our way. You know, being right isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Sometimes we got to choose to be righteous. I shouldn't say sometimes. we got to choose to be righteous instead of right. So walk away from the anger, walk away from the strife, walk away from the arguing. Another thing, walk away from doubting yourself. As long as you think you're not, you'll never be. As long as you think you can't, you won't. As long as you you see yourself unworthy, your life will measure up to what you believe about yourself. Let me tell you something. God has never made an accident and he didn't start with you. God made you in his image. So let me tell you today, you can and you will walk away from the doubt and start believing in the person that God designed you to be. Another thing that we need to walk away from is comparison. Do you know that God made you exactly as you should be? God designed you on purpose. God designed you for His purpose. When you get to heaven one day, you don't have to answer for anybody else. You have to answer to who He called you to be. Comparison steals your joy. It steals your confidence, and it steals your purpose. Don't waste yourself comparing yourself to others. Walk away from comparison. Another thing to walk away from is from bitterness. Dave Willis said this, Bitterness and love cannot live in the same heart. Each day, we must decide which one gets to stay. Y'all, we got to walk away from bitterness. We got to walk away from offense. We got to walk away from those things that are keeping us from living a better life. You know, a bitter root, man, it grows up, and if you don't take care of it, and if you don't get rid of it, it shows in every area of your life. Walk away from bitterness. Another thing, walk away from a bad attitude. John Mitchell said, our attitude toward life determines life's attitude towards us. A bad attitude can keep you from success. It can keep you from favor, from healthy thinking, from healthy relationships. Don't be the reason you don't succeed. See, you may not be able to control the situations that are happening around you, but you can most definitely control your attitude. So walk away from that bad attitude. A bad attitude does not produce a good day. Walk away from it. Walk away from mistakes and regret. Y'all, you don't live in the past anymore. When you dwell on your mistakes, it just causes you to live in regret. I wish I wouldn't have lived that way. I wish I wouldn't have done those things. No, the scripture says that God is doing a new thing and he wants to do it right now. Walk away from the mistakes. You're not that person anymore. 
Walk away from the regret. Begin to live in the moment and trust that, you know what, God doesn't use perfect people. And if he doesn't use perfect people, then he can use you and me. It's not about what you've done or haven't done. God loves you just the way you are. But guess what? When you're in relationship with God, you don't stay the same. You get better and better each day if you allow God to do that perfect work on the inside of you. Walk away from unhealthy living. Walk away from the junk. Walk away from the stagnancy. Walk away from not ever getting outside and getting your body moving. Y'all, life is too short to not take care of ourselves. If you don't take time for your health, you'll have to make time for your sickness. Walk away from unhealthy living. Walk away from negative friendships. Oh man, this one is so important. If you allow people to operate in the negative and make more withdrawals than deposits in your life, then you'll constantly find yourself in the negative. Stay away from negative people. They find a problem for every solution. Guard your world. Guard who you allow to speak into your life. Walk away. Walk away from negative friendships. Walk away from anything less than God's plan for your life. Y'all, don't leave your dreams and your talents on the table. Don't live life stuck. No, walk away from anything less than God's plan for your life. You might have a dream deep down in your heart. Don't keep putting it off. Step into the destiny that God has designed for your life. Last one, walk away from what no longer serves you. Now, I don't know what that is but you know what that is. That's the things that are subtracting from your life, that are maybe sucking the life right out of you. If we want to have better days, if we want to have better moments, then there's some things that we've just got to determine in our life every single day. I'm going to walk away from the negativity. I'm going to walk away from arguing. I'm going to walk away from anything that no longer serves me in this life. I'm going to step into the destiny that God has planned for my life. Let's go for that better life. Let's go for those better days. Hey, until this time next week, I hope you have a fabulous day.